I heard the freight train and it, it was coming fast. It was coming fast. WHAS 11's Reed Yaden first got to Bowling Green in the overnight hours and he brought us live coverage of the damage. Then he stayed through the morning where the sunlight provided an image of a more tragic picture. While there were many houses and buildings damaged, Reed Yaden was able to catch up with a family who lost their house in the storm. The foundation, the only thing left. One woman told us she was sleeping when her fiance woke her up and quickly made it down to the basement with her children and her grandchildren. And then she and her mother were literally pulled out of the house by the tornado. I was just scared and I, I was just thankful that I handed him the grandbaby when I did. You know, because he got her downstairs. And because if I would have still had her in my arms, I don't know what would have happened. Yeah. You know, because it did blow me out of the house. Her mother survived and is in stable condition in the hospital.